Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video I want to talk a little bit more about my industry uh, experiments that I'm doing in EVE Online at the moment. As you know I'm focusing heavily on building and selling munitions, mostly missiles because the margins there are really nice and fat. Uh, but I am starting to uh, oversaturate the markets where I'm trying to sell. And uh, so I need to start to diversify, I think, look for other stuff uh, to produce. And if we look at my market orders, you can see that only 12 out of the 65 market orders remain open. And what kind of um, orders remain open here? Inferno cruise missiles, mostly in the MAR. They're just not selling. Light missiles in Dital, in Jita, in Amar, not selling. Inferno torpedoes, Jita, Amar, Dital, again, not selling. So we are starting to basically have too much stuff in the market. You can see some of them sell, right? 6.5 uh, left out of the 10,000. People are buying these. But that mean that's, uh, means that competition comes in. Uh, they're point wanting me. And as a result, stuff moves uh, pretty slowly. Um, there's all, really only one thing that you can do. That is look for other things to make. Now, so far, I'm actually pretty happy uh, with the results. Despite this, uh, this problem, you could say. Um, I am uh, still cash flow positive, income 2.9 billion ISK over the last uh, 30 days, expenses 1.6 billion and I just refueled the stations as well. So that looks pretty good. If we take a look at trade, you can see contract prices still about 24% uh, of my incomes, but I sold some ships as well. That's, those are actually the trades that I made with the take two ships. That's pretty damn nice, of course. And then right here, I think it's going to be charges. Yep, that makes up 6% of of my income so it is starting to be at least somewhat of a decent uh, number and I must say if you don't oversaturate the, the market the uh, margins on the missiles for instance is still pretty damn good uh, something else that I'm doing just a quick look at this is uh, I bought uh, blueprints for these tech 2 components I'm now starting the process of improving them that does mean that I don't have slots for my blueprint copies so we will take a little bit of a lag uh, in there it might be Business will not be uh, a weekly thing. This is basically, uh, if I go here for what I've got, uh, this is going to be my last run for a couple of weeks. I am planning to upgrade all of these time-wise and material efficiency-wise. I'm basically hoping by giving this one a rest as well that I can get more out of the Orca blueprints and especially more out of my structure blueprints, potentially, if I'm not flooding the market with those anymore. But yeah, let's look for that diversification. I have been trying uh, to do a little bit of that. In fact, it should be a available down here namely some modules you can see i've got some missile launchers some shield mods things like that some rigs as well i think those can be pretty good but i'm already running out of material it's not that easy to get enough of them uh, just from the exploration sites that i tend to do so let's take a quick look at these for instance um don't i have small capacitor control circuit yeah there we go could I make any of them? No, I ran out of burnt logic circuits. The in, uh, the material cost is 1.2 million. The output cost is 1.5 million. It's not a great margin, but at least it's positive. Let's take a quick look at this shield mod here, for instance. Uh, 400,000 and 488. It's slightly positive. It's not really great. For the large shield uh, extender, 783,000 for the input. 1.2 million, that is already a pretty decent margin. That's also why I made 20 of them in a single go. If they sell, that would be very nice. But overall, um, you can see that especially on the small side here, 145 to uh, 98,000. Some of them are even... Uh, negative at the moment, medium shield boot booster, let's look at that, 600,000 and 370,000 estimated value. Yeah, those are jobs that you don't actually want to run and this is basically my lesson uh, at this point. Uh, diversification is not easy and modules, you've got some exceptions, but a lot of these actually have pretty bad margins. Let's look at the light missile launcher here for instance. Cost is 116,000 disc, output is 207,000 disc. That is actually not that bad. Missile launchers, I think, are still pretty uh, popular. Rapid uh, missile launcher right here, cost 400k, output 409,000. Yeah, this one 
Japan has a super narrow margin, at least it is slightly positive. So what I think I need to do is expand my library of uh, modules as well and really look for like a dozen or so that have really good margins. If we compare that, still despite uh, everything that I've been doing uh, to some of these missile blueprints, 1.5 uh, million, that's because I've got 100 runs here, output 1.7 million. That has definitely decreased in margin. Here are the torpedoes, which are not selling at the moment. 3.7 million in, 3.5 million out. Yep, I definitely uh, crashed those markets by uh, trying to sell those locally. So it, this is something that can happen. 2.4 in, 2.6 out. Okay, Mjolnir cruise missiles still doing somewhat okay. Uh, but uh, if you remember when I started this experiment earlier, at the start of the year, we basically had 100% margins when input uh, price would basically be doubled by the average output price and so um, this does mean that yeah finding the right markets is important but continuously looking for other opportunities and diversifying your production is going to be very important as well because it is obvious in the tech one uh, uh, production lines uh, there's going to be a lot of competition and uh, you can very easily crash a market by uh, basically overproducing and focusing on a single thing too much, which is what I've done with the missiles. And now those margins are next to gone. So let's take a look at some other options here. For instance, our antimatter charges. That's a 1.5 million in 1.7 out. Okay, why not? I'll definitely take that. Let's run these iridium charges. Let's see what those go for. 470 in and 394 out. So that would actually be a pretty bad thing. Um, estimated price would be at almost 400 isk. Uh, or 40 is a charge or something like that. Let's see if we don't find any others that are actually positive. I know that antimatter is really popular because it's the highest damage at the closest range. At least this one is positive as well. 225 to 260 for the iron charges. So we're gonna run this job as well. Lead charges, 500,000. Oof, that's quite painful. It's not as uniformly positive as with the missiles, obviously. 1.3 in and almost half uh, on the estimated out value. That is really bad. 1.1 in and 900,000. Yep, still not what we want. And then we've got uranium charges. Uh, oh, that is 1.2 million estimated value of the minerals that you're putting in. 700,000 uh, of the output value. That is so bad. We're not even going to give that a try. So I've got another option here as well. We have some um, uh, other charges for uh, for large uh, min but our weapons so let's see what these do 225 191 negative again and this is of course the competition 510 to 461 that's negative as well EMP that could be a bit more popular 1.5 million 1.8 all right we finally have a job that looks positive so we're gonna take that 1.3 yep that's positive as well so this is something that I'll do basically what I think I need to do is expand my library give myself more options 4000 nope that's negative as well so we don't need to try a hundred of these face plasma I think is somewhat popular 1.3 million yeah ooh, that's actually not bad that's almost a 50% margin on this one and then we've got proton here 473 that's negative again so I think I'll I'll try uh, that's owned by me here I'll try these antimatter charges and EMP charges that's half five of my ten jobs that are running and we know that we had something positive in the large shield boosters if I'm not mistaken yeah let's do that one uh, and then the light missile launchers were 115 207 that's definitely good. Uh, rapid heavies were not doing well. Cruise missiles, 287.4. Yep, okay, I'll take that. That's actually almost still double the value. Uh, rocket launchers, 42. That's a decent margin for something that is uh, not that popular, I think. Um, it's a tiny job, though, right? 20 of them are talking 100,000. Something that's positive for me is positive. I'm basically turning my minerals into more value, so we'll take that one as well. And then we need one last one. Uh, capacitors, I don't have what it takes. 
uh, to produce those right now. I need to do more salvaging. Let's see if this is positive. This is terrible. Oh, that's one of the worst ones we've seen. 458,000 input. Estimated value output 117,000. 25% of the price. You have to be careful uh, when it comes to this, of course. 1.6 in, 2 million out. We'll take that. Shield boost amplifiers start. That makes my 10th job running. All of this should still be positive. And then we are going to uh, try and sell those as well, of course, together with the blueprints that I've made here. And then the previous run, I just grabbed all my modules. Uh, I think I'll try to sell these locally, although I don't want to have too many old orders there as well. This is maybe the last point that I want to make on the video. So the first one is, of course, you've got to diversify. I'm going to have to build up my blueprint original uh, library so that I've got more options to find those uh, productive uh, items that I don't need to focus on only missiles or stuff like that. And then the next one is if we look again at the market orders that are still, uh, you know, uh, that still haven't sold. Uh, look at how uh, overrepresented Amar is. Amar here, Inferno Cruise Missiles, um, you know, half of them here. We've got the Inferno Cruise Missiles in detail. So it's Amar and detail. That's not working out here. It's Amar, couple Jitas, but then Amar, detail, detail. Uh, down here, we get more like torpedoes, detail, detail, Amar, Amar. So there is this massive, massive difference, of course, between Jita the largest market in EVE Online. Amar, that's still a trade hub, but is definitely a lot smaller than Jita. And then finally, right here, locally, with like 20, 30 people uh, online all the time in detail, yeah, stuff moves very, very slowly. So I would say that I also need to rebalance my uh, runs. At the moment, I was going something like, I think, two to three times to Jita, and then once to Amar, once to Dital, and a rotation like that. I think we gotta go towards 90% in Jita, or maybe even more, just because what I'm seeing here, uh, everything gets stuck a lot, a lot longer down here as, as well for, for my torpedoes, for instance. Amar, 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 Dital, Dital. None of that. Some in Jita are stuck here as well. Uh, but uh, 88 days, while well, these are 75, 75, 66 days old. So, uh, so uh, or still have that period to go. So it's pretty obvious that these orders are a lot older. These are a couple days old. They might sell on my next trip right there. A bit of diversification is going to help solve this as well. Uh, but yeah, it makes for a very, very big difference. And I think if you want to move product, Jita is definitely still the place to be. Um, so, and as I said, on the blueprint copy front, this is going to slow down a little bit because I am going to improve the Tech 2 blueprints and perhaps part of my diversification will end up being Tech 2 production as well. We will see how that works out and I'll need to buy advanced move materials. Well, I watch those on EVE Talk so I do know where the opportunities might lie. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. I'm actually enjoying this. It doesn't take too much time and effort once you get your routines building. But uh, yeah, the aim of this video is to show you guys that uh, without keeping an eye on your impact on the market, you will end up uh, basically choking your own profits out and so diversification is uh, absolutely a must in industry uh, especially in the tech one industry i think uh, at the moment i hope that this helps for some other budding industrialists out there thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time